Wait there. I'll come over for you. Miss Dunwiddie. Hello. Yoo-hoo. Don't worry, sir. Huh? We'll get you across. <laughs> Just a minute. Leave everything to us, sir. You're safe now, sir. Why don't you go and bob a job somewhere else? <laughs> bob a job? We ain't had that since we moved over to decimalisation. <laughs> He's even older than we thought. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr Midford? I've just been frog-marched across the road by a couple of wolf cubs. Didn't you want to cross? But you're the one that wants to cross. Oh, no. I'm looking for a taxi, but don't worry. I'll see you safely back again. <laughs> Darling, had a good day? June, I want you to be brutally frank. Do I look old? <laughs> old? Yes. Not particularly. Are you sure? Yes, but then, of course, I'm used to you. <laughs> yeah, but what, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I can't say you look particularly old because I can't really remember you looking particularly young. Well, that's, that settles it. I've got to get into training. What for? Oh. June, I've, I've had a humiliating day. Oh, yeah. I, I came out of the restaurant at lunchtime and I was helped across the road twice. Once by two wolf gubs and once by Miss Dunwiddie. How much had you had to drink? <laughs> no, I was stone cold sober. For some reason, they thought I was infirm and incapable. And when I got home tonight, I got out of the car and there was a new paper boy there. I said, if you've got one for Medford, I'll, I'll have it now. And he handed it to me and he, he gave me a wink and said, Mind there you go, Grandad. <laughs> I mean, how, how could he think I was that old? I mean, I haven't got a grey hair in my head. Well, no, but we both know why that is. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, you know. No, I don't know. You put that stuff on your hair. <laughs> stuff? What stuff? To stop you going grey. Do you know, I haven't gone grey because it just so happens some men take longer to go grey than, than others. Especially when they rub stuff into their hair every morning. <laughs> I don't rub anything into my hair. Where, where, did, where did you get this idea that I was, I, I was using stuff? From the empty bottles I find down behind the dressing <laughs> table. What bottles? Oh, little plastic ones with Spartan 200 and gone away grey on the labels. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how they got there. There's nothing wrong with using them. Lots of men do, even President Reagan. President Reagan's over 70. Yes, I know, but you'd never know it, would you? I mean, some days he looks as old as you. <laughs> you mean I look like an old man of 70? Oh, no, of course not. Well, that settles it. Well, where are you going? Where's my tracksuit? Oh, no, Terry. You're not going to start jogging again, are you? Yes. But you've still got the bunions from last time. D they are not bunions, but runner's feet with all that pounding gradually develop hard little protective areas. Corns. <laughs> not, not corns, I mean like, like pads. Corn pads? I'm talking about sort of hard, horny bits. <laughs> oh, hooves. <laughs> you've never understood my feet, have you? The feet may be willing, but the flesh is weak. What's that mean? Last time you took up jogging to prolong your life, it nearly killed you, leaping out of bed at six o'clock every morning. 
Bolting your breakfast by ten past, zooming down the road by quarter past, collapsing on the doorstep by twenty past. It is easy for you to laugh. I mean, you women can slow up the ageing process with, with makeup and stuff. Like the stuff in the bottles down behind the dressing table. From this moment on, I'm going to change everything about me. Health, exercise, lifestyle. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. Hmm. Hup, two, three. <laughs> if you don't slow down, it could well be your last. Oh. Here we go again. <laughs> fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is? Ah, oh, but you didn't know you were married to a mesomorph, did you? A mess of what? No. <laughs> a mesomorph. That's what I am. Hey, well, look. Naturally strong, agile, and well built. That's what it says. That's me, isn't it? Well. Runs to seed without regular exercise. Oh, yes, that's definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. What are you looking for? Well, I brought a stick of celery up with me. You're not... <laughs> You're not lying on it, are you? No. You probably used it as a bookmark. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, yes, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Where was I? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Mesoborts are often to be found in bodybuilding contests. Bodybuilding, that's an idea. I mean, that way you don't have to lose weight exactly. You just sort of redistribute it. Mm. I rather fancy myself pumping iron. Pumping what? I am pumping iron. It's what they all do. Who do? Well, you know, Arnold Schwarzboller and uh, <laughs> Sylvester Stalin. <laughs> Stalinoni. You know, they do it regular. They pump iron regular. <laughs> you, you've heard the expression, haven't you? Oh, yes, I've heard it, but I still don't know what it means. Well, basically, it means they, they get the iron and, uh, and, they, and they pump it. <laughs> pump it where? Where? Yes, where? Well, in gymnasiums, mainly. <laughs> yes, but it's to do with their bodies, isn't it? Yeah. So where do they pump this iron? Well, I mean, they've, they've, uh, they've, got, they've got these machines, you see. Yes. And, um, and they've got all the... The weights, the weights and everything, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's all made of iron, right? Yes. Yeah, well, they, they get in the machines and they go up and down and up and down and, and up and down, and, and uh, <laughs> that's how they pump it. <laughs> you don't really know, do you? I have no clue. Really. <laughs> Except that it's all to do with bodybuilding and exercises. Ah, 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 ah. Where are you going? Um, my chest expander. Is it uh, uh, in the wardrobe, or, you, or has your mother still got it? Your mother's never had your chest expander. Oh, no, no, sorry, but I did say she could do with it. Yeah. Oh, Terry! Oh, here it is. Ha-ha! This is the way to change my figure. Cheap and expensive and simple. I can't think why I stopped using it. <laughs> oh! 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 Do you have it? Oh! Your mother can have it, I'll tell you. My mother doesn't want it, thank you, you very much. Get Stretch it. your arms Get out. Oh! There. Oh! Oh, tell you what, I'm glad to get that off my chest. <laughs> Frankly, Beatty, I am very worried about him. When I woke up this morning, he wasn't in bed with me. Where was he? I got up to find out and tripped over him. <laughs> <laughs> what? He was fast asleep, face down, on the bedroom carpet. <laughs> what was he doing down there? Oh, he decided to try press-ups at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and fell asleep on the job. <laughs> Malcolm often does that. <laughs> when he's trying anything energetic. Oh. Tell me, Beatty, do you think that Terry's looking old? Well, he wasn't looking too good this morning. <laughs> well, neither would you be if you'd spent the night on the floor. <laughs> no, it's just that every time he goes on a health kick, he ruins his health. I mean, he can't accept that he's not 25 anymore. So when you see him, will you try and say something about how young he's looking? How young he's looking? Right. Yes. I've taken all his health books back to the library. I've thrown his chest expander and Spartan 200 in the dustbin. And I have flushed his fibre diet milkshakes down the loo. <laughs> you haven't. Uh, when he comes home, I'm going to shove him in his armchair, open a bottle of wine, cook him his favourite dinner, and try to persuade him to grow old gracefully. Mm. June! Good luck. Hi. 
Uh, June, give me a hand with this, will you, love? Oh, what's this? I bought it on the way home. It's a present for you. For me? Yes, basically. Uh, grab the other end and we'll oh. take it to the living room. There How exciting! Mm. Oh, darling, you shouldn't have. No, I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. what have you bought me? Well, uh, I'll tell you what, 20 questions. Oh, mm. um, can I wear it? Well, no, but you can get into it. Into it? Mm. Could I use it in the garden? In the garden or in the house? In which room? Uh, any room you like. Will it be in daily use? Oh, it certainly will. Mm. Have lots of people got one? Uh, no, but a lot of people would like one. <laughs> oh, come on, Terry, what is it? A rowing machine. A rowing machine? <laughs> a rowing machine? Yeah. I don't want a rowing machine. Well, there's gratitude for you. I, I, thought, I thought you'd be pleased. Why should I be pleased with a rowing machine? Mm, well, I mean, you I'm... bought it for yourself, didn't you? No, no. I bought it for both of us. I mean, it tightens the stomach and strengthens the shoulders and back. I don't want strong shoulders. I'm a woman, not a cart horse. <laughs> June, one of these days, I shall stop trying to please you. Please me? Yeah, I mean, look, look, at least before you reject it, give it a try. Let me take a few minutes to put it together. What did you say? Put it together? Yes. I mean, it comes in kit form. You have to assemble it yourself. Oh, no, Terry. No, absolutely not. What? Well, I want a quiet evening. I don't want to have to listen to you hammering and cursing into the wee small hours. Well, this won't take long. That's what you said about the ping-pong table. Mm. Three days later, you were still struggling with it. <laughs> but this is very much simpler. I mean, the broker in the shop assured me it'll all slot together in five minutes. Five minutes? Mm. Take you longer than that to get it out of the box. Right. We'll, we'll make a deal. Now, where are you going? To get the kitchen timer. Oh, hello, Terry. Hi, Beatty. I almost didn't recognise you. Uh, what? You look so incredibly young. Do I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't you think so, June? That's what I've been telling him. I mean, June and you could almost pass for mother and son. <laughs> Don't overdo it, BT. <laughs> Found it. What? The timer. Well, you're certainly no old timer. Oh, shut up, BT. <laughs> Look, now sit it for five minutes, and if I haven't put the machine together by that time, I'll wrap it up again and take it back to the shop. Is that fair? No arguments. Scott's on. You're on. Right. Right. Ready, get set, go. Right. Terry, time's up. What, uh, what kept you? I've been waiting ages. What? There. Yeah, there we are. The perfect exercise machine. You can row yourself halfway around the world without even getting your feet wet. Well, you want first try? No, thank you. Mm. And how are you going to get down there? Oh, easy. You're going to help me. One each side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh! oh. Shall I launch her on our maiden voyage? Perhaps we should break a bottle of champagne over her. I'm very tempted to break one over your head. <laughs> Are you sure you put that thing together correctly? Of course, the instructions were so straightforward, any idiot could do it. Even Beatty could do it. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Where do these go? Oh, no. No, they don't go anywhere. They're just uh, spare ones in case you happen to lose a screw. <laughs> That's a very wise precaution in yeah. your case. Now, uh, watch how this operates. You set the tension on the machine to suit your muscular development. You uh, grab the oars, uh, fit on the footrest, bend the knees, and away. <laughs> I was just getting warmed up. I'm struck dumb with admiration. If I had your bulk, I'd need a block and tackle just to do ten. Ah, what you'll seem to be forgetting that most of what you look at is solid muscle. Yeah, I've often thought that, Terry, especially the area between the ears. <laughs> now, listen. I'm sorry to take the piddle, Terry, but you're taking this rejuvenation business entirely the wrong way. Oh, yeah? Yes. If you want to stay young, you've got to think young, and there's only one very simple way to do that. Is there? Yes. Strictest confidence. Oh. When was the last time you spent an evening alone with a strange woman? Three nights ago. <laughs> really? Yes, I was winding Miss Dunwoody's wool. 
I didn't mean that, Strange. You don't know Miss Dunwoody. <laughs> The point is, whenever I feel old and jaded, I take out one of the uh, young lovelies from the typing pool. Oh, shame on you, Malcolm. Oh, you should try it. You really should. It helps you keep your, your, your finger on the pulse of modern society. I keep my fingers to myself, and so should you. When did you last watch Top of the Pops? Eh? Or buy a record in the hit parade? Well... Have you ever heard of UB40? Uh, pardon? Or Duran Duran? Ah, yeah, isn't that the battery that lasts twice as long? <laughs> Do you know what Frankie Goes to Hollywood is? The sequel to Hoppity Goes to Town. Look, I'm not saying I like the noise the, the groups make, but it gives me something to talk about to the brainless young darlings. You should try it, Terry. Get thee behind me, Satan. Well, there's certainly enough room. <laughs> I just called in to see if you wanted a Beriana blowout at the old Bombay Poppadon parlour. Oh, thank you, Malcolm. I am rethinking my diet. And if you've got any sense, you pack in that eating curries as well. After all, always remember, you are what you eat. Really? In that case, what have you been eating? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Fennell, you can go to lunch now. And when you come back, I don't want to be disturbed. I'll have my nose buried in these statistics, and I must not be interrupted. Ah. Do 15 minutes of that, but I, I think I'll skip the rest. <laughs> skip the rest. <laughs> oh, sir, I'm just reading up on. Uh, oh, crikey, you, you've gone grey all of a sudden. <laughs> it's a wonder I've got any hair left at all working with you. Any other man I know would have pulled it out by the roots years ago. But what's happened to you? You have happened to me, Medford. Huh? At least I presume you're responsible. Well, I don't know, sir. I haven't left the office. I've, I've been exercising, trying to get my weight down. Oh, well, never mind getting your weight down. You brought my ruddy ceiling down. Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry, sir. You see, I was reading this book on bodybuilding. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter with your body, anyway? Oh, the usual thing. I'm, I'm a bit heavy around the waist. Yeah, very heavy on my ceiling as well. <laughs> the point is, sir, I realise I am getting old. What's wrong with that? I'm old. Never felt better in my life. In fact, if I'd known I was getting with joy so much, I'd have grown older sooner. Here's what I mean, the joys of youth. Oh, don't talk twaddle, Medford. I had a perfectly miserable youth. Bullied by my father, emotionally smothered by my mother, picked on by my classmates and ignored by the girls. I had acne, knock knees, sweaty palms and dandruff. <laughs> Take the joys out of that, if you will. Yes, but I mean, you want your employees to look young and trim. Ah. Ah, there is a difference between looking young and being young. In fact, I take a certain pride in keeping trim myself. Feel my stomach. Oh, well, rather not so somebody might come in. Do as you're told. Oh, go on, give it a good poke. Oh, I'd rather not. So... Oh, don't be so wet, Medford. Poke it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Feel any flab? No. Oh. On my 40th birthday, my wife, my late wife, gave me a book called Culture of the Abdomen. In it, there was a very interesting exercise. Get me hands and knees. Fun? Get down on your hands and knees. I want uh, to demonstrate this exercise. Yes. <laughs> now then, arch your back and point it to the ceiling. Uh, yes. Come on, arch your back, then. Yes. Arch it, arch it. Come on, move your arch. I'm, I'm, I'm arching the best I can, sir. Right. Mm. Now press your gut toward the floor. No, what? <laughs> Your gut, your oh. stomach, come on, press it on the floor. Oh. Right, now then, arch, mm. press, mm. arch, mm. press, mm. arch, mm. press, mm. arch, mm. press, mm. arch. Is, is this, is this what, is this what you do every morning, sir? Good God, no. <laughs> Apart from looking ridiculous, it's extremely boring. <laughs> well, then how do you keep your figure? Well, I threw the book away and I went to see uh, some old army chums of mine. Now, uh, take this card. And have a session with this chap. Oh, when you've done that, you'll be able to throw your book away, too. Oh, who, who is he? Your physical instructor, sir? No, my corset maker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Oh, you're still here. Why shouldn't I be? Oh, uh, well, it's just, I'd rather you weren't in the bedroom when I'm doing my exercises. I won't laugh, I promise. It's not a question of laughing. I just happen to want solitude to concentrate my mind. <laughs> oh, of course, darling. I understand you want to be alone with your star mind. But I'm sorry to say I don't think it's getting any smaller. Oh, don't you worry. Any day now, it's bound to yield fruit. <laughs> You may be right. <laughs> Certainly looks as if you're in pod. This is such a good idea. So just sit down and eat it. I... I don't think I can sit down. What? Well, I don't think I've got time to sit down. Uh, it took me longer than I thought to get into my... Uh, into my exercise routine. Uh, you are not leaving this house without something inside you. I don't think there's room for anything inside you. <laughs> What's that noise? Uh, I think it's my uh, joints creaking. You know. Your joints? Yes, I probably exercised a bit too hard this morning. Oh. Terry, if it was doing any good, I could see the point in it. June. Oh. <laughs> June, I was able to take in my belt one whole notch this morning. Is that why you're going blue in the face? <laughs> you, you've done nothing but harp since I started this, haven't you? You don't seem to realise that we have let ourselves go. What do you mean, we? We've allowed ourselves to become middle-aged and frumpy. Frumpy? Yeah, I, 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 bet you, I bet you don't even know who UB40 is. No, but I know UB50, and you ought to stop worrying about it. <laughs> when, did, when did you last watch Top of the Pops? What? Uh, I mean, you don't even know who Hoppity Goes to Hollywood is, do you? <laughs> who? Oh, there you are. You see, without noticing it, time and tide have left us stranded on the beach like a couple of old hulks. Listen, you may feel like the wreck of the Hesperus, you may... You may even sound like the wreck of the Hesperus, but I still feel very buoyant. Yeah, but... <laughs> We are tottering on the edge of senility, June. We have got to pull ourselves back. <laughs> Old Hulk, am I? Frumpy. He wants me to pull back. I'll pull back so far, I shall be out of sight. <laughs> Beatty, two questions. One, are you free to go shopping this afternoon? And two, who on earth is Hoppity Goes to Hollywood? June! What have you forgotten? Terry? Are you all right? Do I look all right? Oh, what's happened? I turned round to reverse and suddenly something snapped. Oh, no, don't tell me your back's gone again. It's not my back. It's my corset. It's <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think you're going to be terribly, terribly pleased. What about? June is now in total agreement with you. She has taken steps to destroy all remnants of middle age and frumpiness. Ah, that is marvellous news. I just wish I had her courage. Courage? What does she need courage for? Well, we've been shopping together and she made some really bold choices. She's trying them on now. Oh, good. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to having a look and seeing... <laughs> Oh. 
am. Um, you. I knew. I knew you'd be pleased. Please. Please, June, what have you done to yourself? Well, just following your instructions, I've been defrumping myself. But, but June, your hair, your beautiful hair. Oh, no, Terry. It was old-fashioned and frumpy. Mm. You were so right to get me to change it. The change is as good as a rest. You could get arrested looking like that. I mean, how could you? I was tottering on the brink, you, just like you said. It was no excuse for going off the deep end. Oh, <laughs> and I found out who UB40 is. Mm -hmm. And it's Frankie Goes to Hollywood and not Hopperty. In fact, I've done something about our musical education. Uh, Come on. What do you mean? What, what, what? I have bought this week's top ten LPs and thrown out all those frumpy old middle-aged records we used to have. All of them? Yes. Not a sound of music. Of course. <laughs> You haven't touched the massed bands that they all shot to two? That was the first to go. Mm. This is the new music, Terry. Mm. And this is the new me. <laughs> June, I love the old you. Oh, no, that old cop was grumpy and little age. Look, I, I only said that because I was uncomfortable in my corset. I wished I hadn't started this. I think it's too late now, Terry. Mm. Besides... You're going to go on dipping in the fountain of youth with your health foods and exercises, aren't you? Oh, look, if you get out of that terrible outfit, I swear I'll pack it all in. You will? Yes. I mean, that, that corset was the straw that broke the camel's back in more ways than one. You mean you don't mind me acting my age? Oh, June, I, I love your age. And I love yours, darling. So can we please relax? And grow old gracefully. Gracefully? How, how can you do anything gracefully looking like that? Um, I suppose the shop might take the outfit back. And the makeup comes off easily enough. But what about the hair? I mean, can't you get rid of that terrible colour? Sorry, Terry. The hair colour's permanent. Oh, no. But with any luck, they might take the wig back as well. Ah! <laughs> oh, thanks.